This video is going to show you how to take a freely available TrueType font off the internet and use it as your system font for Plan 9. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download this utility using the Mothra browser that allows you to convert a TrueType font into a sub F font that can be used in Plan 9. tools called TTF to sub F. And that's available right here. Just doing a quick Google search usually reveals it. Okay, now I'm going to download it. While that's downloading, I'm going to go and download a font from the open font library that I prefer to use. It's generally a good idea to use a monospaced font so that the terminal shows up, the RC shell shows up properly. So when you're editing code, it's, it's better to use a monospaced font. So here it is, Anonymous Pro. Okay, I'm going to download that as well. Okay, great, they're both downloaded. <clears throat> I'll return to the shell. Here I can see that I have the two files downloaded. So first I'm going to install this TTF to sub F converter tool. Just using control F here to quickly complete the paths. I'm going to run the MK tool to essentially make everything. Great. Sometimes when you run this thing, it says it's missing the freetype.a file, libfreetype.a. Um, I found that I'm just able to copy that file here. Copy it to, I'm on 3d6, so it's slash 3d6 lib. So I just copy it there and then I run mk again and it compiles. Great. I'm going to add the ttf to sub f command temporarily to my path. I don't need to keep it there all the time. I'm just going to use it once to convert this font into a sub f format. So I don't need to keep this, this tool in my path all the time. I'm just going to bind it for now. here to look at the command line parameters. Here's the command line parameters. Great. Now I'm going to unzip the anonymous pro font. Again, control F is fantastic for explaining these kind of paths. So now I'm going to convert this font here using the ttf to sub F command. Choose size 15 because that's the font size that I'm using right now. I'm going to give it a name, just Anonymous Pro, to match the, the name of the font. I'm going to choose to have it anti alias. This makes it look a little nicer. And I should do it. Great. So now you can see here that I have this anonymous pro directory and it's going to have my new sub f version of this font. Right here, the anonymous-pro.15.font. So I'm going to test this out really quickly. One of the great things about Plan 9 is that I can quickly test it out with an inner Rio within this, this screen here. So by just setting the, the font variable to point to this font. Great, so I can run Rio. And 
there we go. There's the new font. Um, I think it looks good. So now it will make it my default font. So I'll drag a new terminal here. Okay, so to make it my default font, I'm going to make a directory for it in the lib font directory. It's generally where all the system fonts are installed. So let's make a place for it here, lib font bit minus pro. Great. Let's go back into my anonymous pro directory here. I'm going to do a dir copy of this anonymous pro directory into lib font fixed anonymous Again, okay, great. Just make sure it's there. Perfect, all the files are there. So I'm going to copy, I'm going to snarf this path here, which is kind of like copy, into my clipboard. And then I'm going to edit my lib profile. Uh, sorry, the lib profile in my home directory. see here that it sets the font to that default VGA Unicode font. I'm just going to comment that out and I'm going to paste in the new path for this new font. Paste. Oh, didn't work. Okay, I'll type it in manually. Bit anonymous pro. Okay, so I'll write that out. Quit. Now I'll try to reboot. See if it uh, takes effect. Okay, there we go. I have my new font. So you can do this with any true type font that you want. Um, you can set the size, and I hope this is helpful. Thank you very much.